A pipe bender is a useful piece of kit if you are installing any copper pipe. This machine can bend 15mm and 22mm copper pipe. The machine itself has two handles, you also have two formers. That's the 22mm one, that's the 15mm one, and then you have an hook which holds the pipe in position whilst you bend it. You can use the machine simply by gripping the handles like that and putting your pipe in and bending it, but it's quite difficult doing it that way and it's a lot easier to demonstrate how to use it correctly in the vise. So I'm now going to fix this in the bench vise. You'll notice that at the end there, it has got a square piece on, that makes it very easy to fit in the vise. There are a couple of reasons why you'd bend a pipe rather than using elbows. It's a lot cheaper if you bend the pipe, also there's no joint to leak and also you get increased flow through a sweeping bend more than what you would do through an elbow because an elbow can restrict the flow of the water. So I'm now just going to put that in the vise and then I'm going to tighten up the handle. On this particular job we're doing it's not critical because I'm just showing you how to actually use a machine but if you're doing quite a few bends it would be better if you actually leveled the machine off in the vise. If you get it level in both directions it is a lot easier doing some kinds of bends because instead of using the rack of the eye you can then use a spirit level to check that your pipe is straight. We'll cover that in some future videos. So for now I'm just going to get this somewhat level. And then I'll tighten up the vise. For this demonstration I'm going to bend a piece of 15mm copper pipe and a piece of 22mm. I have cut these so they are exactly the same length because when you bend a pipe, the pipe actually grows by the width of the pipe that you are bending. So with 15mm and 22mm it's not that critical. If you were on site and you were bending a 3 inch pipe or a 4 inch pipe, if you don't work out correctly where your bends are supposed to be, you can be 3, 4 or even 8 inches out depending on the pipe. So a 15mm pipe, which is 15mm outside diameter, that will grow by 15mm when you bend it. The 22mm will grow by 22mm, which will be 11mm in each direction. I'm now going to demonstrate that to you, and we're now going to do a simple 90 degree bend on both of these pieces of copper pipe. We're now just going to put the pipe in, into the former, and we're just going to lift that up up, and we're just going to bend the pipe, that will hold the pipe without it falling out of the pipe bending machine. We're now going to get the guide. The guide is profiled, the same profile as the copper tube. Now I'm just going to slide that on there and push it and we're just going to pull the handle now so that it just starts to grip the tube. We can now take a square and we can push the square against the actual former and I'm now just going to push the pipe back so that we get it in the correct position. So I've actually drawn a line on each piece of the tubing in the exact centre. Once that's in the correct place, I'm then going to pull on the handle and that will then start to bend the tube. So I'm just going to pull that round. You can see that that is now bending. We're now just going to check on the top using a square to see exactly where 90 degrees is and you can see that that needs to move considerably more to get it to 90 degrees. Whenever you're bending anything like this you just need to go past. So we just need to go past 90 degrees because it will spring back slightly. So we just need to go a little bit more. And we've now bent that to 90 degrees. You can now take the guide out and pull the pipe out. 
you can see that there we have a 90 degree bend. We'll just check that using the square and you can see that that is bent at 90 degrees. And as I said earlier, you do get a long sweeping bend with a bender, which is a lot better than using an elbow. We're now going to do exactly the same using the 22 millimeter pipe. So we're just going to get that around there. This time you need the larger former. Again, you need the profiled side against the pipe. We're just going to use a square to square that pipe and get it in the exact right position. Which is there. We can now pull on the pipe bender. It is a little bit harder bending 22 mil. And I'll just take a look at that. I need to go a little bit further. And that should be about right. Now I'm just going to remove the guide. And then we'll just remove the pipe. You can see that that is also bent at 90 degrees. You can now see that we've got the 15 millimeter pipe and the 22 millimeter pipe. And you'll notice that the 22 millimeter pipe has grown more than what the 15 millimeter pipe has. So that's something to consider when you are bending pipes the pipe will grow by the diameter of the pipe that you are bending. You can see that the pipe bender gives you a very neat bend even on this 22 millimeter copper pipe. If you try to bend that using a pipe bending spring, it would be incredibly difficult trying to bend that piece of pipe because it is so short. Even bending a long piece of 22 millimeter pipe with a pipe bending spring is difficult. Using a pipe bender is a lot easier. You also get a very, very neat bend.